Good evening. The search continues in the frigid waters northwest of Vancouver Island for three American tourists and a fishing guide, but they are still missing tonight. The men were last seen on Monday morning when they set out for a day of fishing in a six-meter chartered vessel. The search for the men and their boat has been hampered today by poor weather, high winds and thick fog. And the search area has now expanded farther to the south and west from the North Island port town of Winter Harbor. Still no sign of the missing men, though. A News reporter Jonathan Bartlett has the latest for us from our Mid-Island Bureau. Jonathan. Hudson, it's an extensive search using Coast Guard cutters, Aurora, Buffalo and Cormorant aircraft from CFB Comox, as well as other fishing guide boats, all taking part in the search for these four men. The search area for the missing four men has now expanded further south and further out to sea. Every day longer that someone's missing at sea is, is not a good sign, but uh, we're looking, we're doing our best today. But the weather is hampering rescue efforts, visibility restricted by fog, as seen in this Environment Canada satellite photo. It's definitely hampering us in uh, a large swath of water that we want to be looking at. Fortunately, we're using two aircraft that have uh, very sensitive radar systems, and that's what we're using to uh, penetrate to that fog, uh, not to mention ships on the surface of Coast Guard ships with good radar as well, and that's how we're searching. The six-meter open aluminum sport fishing boat belongs to Qualicum River Fishing Resort and left Winter Harbor on a chartered fishing trip on Monday morning, bound for Brooks Peninsula. Port McNeil RCMP say the captain is Canadian, his three guests are from Oregon and Washington. They were not wearing survival suits, but did have life jackets. But there's still hope they could be found alive. They have other, uh, like several other local kind of guiding boats that are helping. You know, the hope is that, uh, you know, they're going to be found either kind of hold up on shore or their boat still. That's what we're still kind of hoping for. Search and rescue Cormorant helicopter pilot Captain Luke Coates says the search so far has been a challenge. We were down at 150 feet above water and we were still covered in cloud, but we could see the water beneath us, but we could not see very far at all. Although we were working in conjunction with the Aurora who has uh, capable sensors, so if ever they found something of uh, interesting, they could call us up and we could go have a look at it. Qualicum River Fishing Resort is in Winter Harbor, but their mailing address is here, just north of Qualicum Beach. No one from the Qualicum River Fishing Resort was available for an interview today, but they did release this statement to media. Our thoughts and prayers are with the missing men and their families. The management and staff are doing everything possible to assist the search and rescue crews. The search continues. Police have not identified the fishing guide or his guests, whose families are being contacted by American authorities. The Joint Rescue Coordination Center says there's been no sign of debris, at least in their search area. One can only hope that's a good sign. The boat is out there somewhere with the four people alive. A meeting tonight will determine if a search will continue tomorrow. Hudson? All right, we'll stay on the story. Jonathan Bartlett, thank you. Thank you.